It was daylight savings time's ends on the island of Sodar. Thomas was helping the others at the search and rescue center. There was a lot of rescuing today. Thanks for coming to help us, Thomas, said Captain. My goodness, we're busy today. Just then the alarm sounded. Someone needs help. Oh, I agree, said Thomas. Quick, we gotta get to this, uh, the site before it's too late, said Butch. Let's roll out. Will it be by air, land, or rail? It was Percy. He derailed at a bump in the track. The fireman was trying to flag him down. Soon everyone made it to the site. We're here, Percy. Don't worry. Everything will be put right. Oh, I agree, said Bell. It'll be fine. Same here, said Flynn. Soon, Rocky got to work. It took no time, and soon, they got Percy back under the track. Butch was overseeing to make sure everything was right. Thanks for helping us, said Percy. Oh, no problem, said Butch. Percy's crew got a ride home in Butch's cab, and Percy was taken home. That night at the sheds, everyone was talking about the events when Sir Tottenham had arrived. Well done, everyone. The search and rescue center for saving Percy, said Sir Tottenham. There was a bumpy section in the track, apparently. And don't worry, the first thing in the morning we will get that section repaired, said Sir Tottenham. Well done, everyone. Oh, thank you, sir, said Bell. Anything for a friend. Oh, I hardly agree, said Flynn. At least I was a part of it, said Captain. Everyone was, said Sir Tottenham Hatt. And besides, this is a team effort and not as one. Unlike certain others. Ha ha ha, said Sir Tottenham Hatt. Besides, we all did very well today in saving Percy. And Sir Tottenham Hatt left. Percy felt amazed. And the engines reflected on today's amazing events with Sir Tottenham